Welcome back to the show. Many thanks for staying with us. Management of the Konfonochi Teaching Hospital today have been visiting uh, on a thank you visit to the offices of the First Lady and the Multimedia Group Limited to express their gratitude over the Save a Child, Save a Mother project. They are upbeat about the number of lives that will be saved when the new maternity and mother and baby unit is complete. The First Lady and the Multimedia Group Limited embarked on this mission following a joint new special assignment documentary which revealed the needless deaths of babies and mothers at the hospital due to congestion. The CEO of CART led the delegation. Well, let's first hear the interactions that took place at the First Lady's office. We took him to this uh, MBU block that has been standing for over 40 years. And he did express serious concern about the neglect. Um, this had followed the documentary that the multimedia had already released uh, on the state of our MBU and then the care for the mothers and the children in particular. And uh, we're very happy the First Lady, through her foundation, intervened with this project. I was part of the event in uh, Manchester, for instance, and uh, with the team up from uh, Lady Julia, we managed to make raise some funds. We are here to officially communicate our gratitude and special appreciation for the First Lady uh, for her initiation and for the commitment that she has shown. And we are aware that even as the official funds raise had not been enough, she is still committed to make sure that this project is fully executed. And that is why we've come to express our gratitude to the First Lady. And uh, we want to say that uh, we've also been on the ground, committed, and we are following up with the contractors with very regular interactions to make sure that the project uh, is pursued on schedule. And uh, I must say that for this time, we are sure that we are actually timely. We met the contractors last Monday, and they've given us their work schedule. And we think we are on course towards the October deadline. As you said, you followed up um, what's been happening with the mother and baby unit, which uh, uh, we decided uh, to, to help um, rehabilitate or actually uh, build a new facility due to what we saw in the documentary, which wasn't um, a good thing at all for a mother and, uh, you know. And um, so we took it up and uh, by God's grace, we're on course. It's, it's, it's in progress, as you've said. I haven't seen it, but I've seen uh, photos of uh, progress uh, as of yesterday. And um, we're praying that, uh, you know, it all goes through by October to relieve the uh, congestion in the mother and baby unit and to stop uh, babies from dying. The challenge of Konfarachi, especially for these over 40 year old projects that has been sitting down, has been tossed from government to government, Minister of Health after Minister of Health. But it took your expose to bring the issues really to the fore. And um, I must say that we know what it takes to produce such uh, a documentary. The personnel involved, the time involved, and uh, even the financial resource involved. And for you to have done this out of a social service commitment, I think the management of Konfarachi um, owe you so much appreciation. And we are very happy that beyond the expose, you are continuing to follow up on the projects. And uh, out of this has come the intervention by the First Lady, uh, which project has already begun. And we just uh, finished a meeting with her to update her on the development of the work, the progress of work. And we are hopeful that come October, that interim project will sort of come to help us resolve the crisis in the interim will be completed. But we will plead with you to continue the crusade because the main project, the 900 bed project, should be completed to save the embarrassment that this country has actually uh, come with it over the last 40 years. So uh, we just want to show our appreciation to you. We are very thankful for the collaboration and we are very thankful for the commitment you have shown towards the project. Thank you very much.
once we saw what was happening. The view was we can't just do a documentary and then go to bed. So the idea was to try and get uh, start a process to try and see if we could come up with a solution for the time being. Fortunately, that has happened. And uh, we are very grateful that we've had all the support from the various uh, corporate organizations and private individuals. And definitely the effort of the First Lady and the Otunfo also took it to another level. So we are also looking for it eagerly to when we can finally go and open the place and see the relief that it brings. Uh, we also are very grateful for your cooperation because some, sometimes you find a situation where even though you are trying to draw attention to something for it to be fixed, some people take offense. Okay, so we are very grateful for the cooperation that we have received from, from the management. And uh, yeah, so we look forward to that day. Uh, and it will be a great day indeed. The exercise that we have started has gone well. We are almost uh, getting to the level of uh, funds mobilization that we targeted. So I want to assure you that we have almost gotten all the money that we need for the project to be completed. And the money is safe right now. If the money is sitting in the account, it's because the contractor has not gotten to the level where we have to pay him. Otherwise, would have paid. If it is because of money that will get the project completed, we'll do it today and tomorrow we'll move in. So the money is safe. Get see my treasury manager who is always ensuring that every city, every person is kept for you. We are looking forward to the day that we all gather like this, commissioning the project for lives to be saved. So we are happy that you have come to show appreciation. We cherish your coming. And I would like to assure you that we'll continue to keep, take good care of the money. We are all targeting to get a project completed and in good time. Thank you. All right, so H.E. Kwam is CEO for Joy FM. He spoke earlier. Before that was, uh, after him was Prince Champong, who is Chief Finance Officer here at uh, Multimedia, promising that we're almost hitting that target uh, of all the money that's needed to stop the needless deaths. Of course, this is a very good initiative.